Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would try something different and I've been trying to figure it out all day. But here's the sitch. Okay, I wanted to try playing a Pleasant View Let's Play. Um, like rotational gameplay. Um, I love watching Sims 2 Let's Plays. I've watched them for a very long time. I've watched Pleasant Sims' Let's Plays or Sims 2 Pleasant View series. I watched Dramatic Sims, um, Sims 2 Let's Plays. I watched um, another girl's, I forget her name right now, her username. I just started watching hers. And I thought I really wanted to like make my own. Um, but the one thing I was thinking is like, I'm not that creative with my Sims 2 gameplay. Like I try to be, but I usually am not. And my families are not that exciting, but I want to try to make them more exciting and just do a wants based gameplay, like purely wants based and not put my own spin on it. Not just really follow the want system. Um, I am playing with the Sims 2 ultimate collection on Mac. So I don't have apartment life or free time. So I don't have secondary aspirations. Um, but anyways, also I was trying to figure out how to get a new Pleasant View, like a fresh save file, because I'm not very techy. So I was just trying to figure it out, and then I realized that my other family that I've been playing with, that I did my current household on, is actually in a Pleasant View downtown. I messed up severely, because I've really been wanting to have a new Pleasant View save for such a long time, but since I put them in the Pleasant View downtown, if I, like, start a new save, they'll be gone. Anyways, if you guys know how to, like, start a new save, but I will also, like, not lose my old save, I don't care about any of these Pleasant View people at all. I just care about the Pleasant View downtown, but I guess they're connected. Um, so if you know how to, like, create the new Pleasant View without completely losing it, like, I'm fine to re-download it or to save it somewhere or something like that, please, please, please let me know. I would love to know in the comments. I couldn't figure it out, like, how to save the old one, keep the new one, so... Um, yeah, this is a Pleasant View that has been played with a little bit, which kind of sucks, but this is, like, my only option, so I hope you all don't mind that much. But what I'm thinking is just playing rotationally, um, starting with the Goth family, because I do believe that's, like, the first one you're supposed to play with, or the, I think it's the Goth or the Lothario. Um, let me just look it up. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I was thinking of playing rotationally like that. And just see how it goes. As I said before, they do have some stuff like pre-established and everything. So, yeah. Um, some families I play with more than others. So, like, the age is going to be off. But I'm going to try to, like, just start playing just, like, as they are now. And just keep going like that. So, the ages will not be the exact same as, um, um, what's it called? The oral will not be the exact same. Like, the aging in relationship to each other will not be the exact same as it's supposed to be. So, like... Sims will be older related to each other than others, but that's okay. I don't really have another option right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to try this out because um, why not? I'm just trying to see. I, I do think the, yeah, the Lothario family is the first one. Um, so, Lothario family, so Don Lothario right now, lives with um, Cassandra Goth. Um, okay, I have all these other people in this, like, neighborhood too. No, not them. Mm. I'm confused. <laughs> Where are they? Okay, so it seems like Cassandra is missing. So Cassandra is new Bella. I literally have no idea where her or her family is. Like, I'm so confused. Hey, y'all. I finally found Cassandra. I didn't remember that she got with Darren Dreamer because I do have The Sims 2 on my desktop. And so, therefore, it's like a different save. I can't film on there or anything like that. But in that save, um, Cassandra is with Dawn still, and they have kids. So that's why I was super confused on like where she was living, because in that save, which is the one I played more, yeah, she never was with Darren Dreamer, so I didn't think to look there. But anyways, that's where she is. So I guess we'll start with like the Goths being these people, or let's start. Let's start with Dawn. I guess it's a bit confusing because he's now living with um. Dina. Okay, so let's start with them. Um, Dawn now lives with Dina. Um, and this is her child. I forget who the child is from, but we'll see when we like enter. So we'll be playing with um 
this household. Um, I'm just gonna show you the houses we're gonna be playing with. Um, this household, we'll get into like what happened with them. Um, this household, you can say I didn't play with them much because she's still young. Oops. Um, this household. This household. This one. I'm mostly eating popcorn, so sorry if that is annoying. This one. Mm. Where's the oldies? I just saw them. I don't really know. Okay, here. I don't really know where everyone is because I haven't played. But yeah, they, they adopted two daughters. Um, I can recall. Okay, and I may have cheated their money before, but we're just starting fresh. Like, sorry, I couldn't actually start fresh, but now we are. So, let's go into the Caliente family. So, actually, in both of my Let's Plays, or both of my C files, Dina ended up, like, single, and, like, Nina ended up being happy and, like, married, which is kind of funny, um, because Nina is the romance sim, so, but, anyways. So, this is Dina, uh, I shouldn't show you where we're starting off from. She's going to be an elder in 19 days. Um, if you don't know any of these sims, um, these are the sims that come with pleasant views, so I'll be going through all of them as well, like, and seeing how they've changed since I did play this a little bit. So, Dina does come with the base, like, situation. She lives with her sister, Nina. Uh, that's how they all start off in the beginning. Um, so, Dina is a fortune aspiration sim. So, right now, these are her wants. So, I am going to be playing purely wants-based, like I said. Um, okay, so her family. So, she has her husband. Um, her sister, so um, her parents um, were, I'm sorry if I butcher these names, Nihat and Flamenco Caliente. They're both deceased. Flamenco had a brother, Tango. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. They're, they're like part alien, I think. So, okay, let's just go through the like maternal way first. So, their mom was Nihat. Nihat's parents were... Tariq and Benazir. And they had Nihat. Okay. Then their dad, Flamenco. Um, what was her maiden name? Al Mahmoud is her maiden name. Okay. So then Flamenco Caliente. His dad, so he he was half alien. So they're a quarter alien. So his dad, um, or th so their grandpa. Nestor was like artificially inseminated or whatever by Polynesian Technician Seven. So, and that's being, and so, um, Flamenco is a product of that thing. Um, Nestor was married to Dulcinea. So, um, Nestor and Dulcinea had tango naturally. So, that is Flamenco's half brother and the girl's half uncle. But none of them are alive anymore. So we're here with Dina and Dina's sister, Nina, and um, Dina's brother-in-law, who's a professor. <laughs> okay. And uh, Dina's um, niece, Autumn, and that is also Emeline's, um, Emeline, well, I give these people weird names. So Autumn is Emeline's cousin. So yeah, that's, that's Dina's um, family tree. I guess we'll go into Don's when we get to him. Um, so, yeah, she had a thing with Don Burb. Oops, I don't remember that, but Don Burb apparently did um, have a little thing with her in my uh, playthrough. So, he is not the most family man that he is usually. Um, and then she was in love with Mortimer, and she still is, but. What happened, I believe, was that she was trying to, like, get married to him, but he just would not do it. Like, every single time she, like, asked him to move in or she, engaged, like, proposed to him, he said no. So the relationship was just not going anywhere, and um, I think she was really, like, not having that much money, if I can remember. So he kind of just used her, it seemed like, in my, in this playthrough. And then she got married to Dom because she really was needing someone else. 
to support her honesty. That's kind of the reason why she was way more into Mortimer. Um, but he was not wanting to be with her, so she had not really another choice than to be with Don. And they have a pretty good relationship, and she has a not bad relationship with her daughter, Emlyn. She's a playground monitor, so yeah, as you can see, she's just like struggling in her career. She's like not doing good. She's just level one for some reason. Um, I don't know why I gave her this job. Like, I'm sorry, this is not really like starting off as an accurate representation of Pleasant View or their wants, but from now on, we are just starting that way. Um, she has some personality. She's sloppy, outgoing, lazy, playful, and nice. It's often said that Dina has a mind of her own, but she's quick to disagree. She likes chocolate in terms of making it big. Um, she likes money, entertainment, fashion, weather, sci-fi, travel, hates work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So look at her memory so we can kind of see what happened with her because I don't really remember. So, she, like, party trained by her dad, learned to walk so they were good parents, learned to talk from her parents. She grew up well. She grew up well. Her sister grew up well. She grew up well. I think they're twins, actually, like, the same age. And Mr. Sam, then her mom died. Nina grew up well, she grew up well. So I think they were like um, kids when her mom died, which is pretty sad. So they became teenagers, I believe. Um, she had a first kiss with Michael, so she was dating this guy, Michael. Um, so Nina grew up badly, actually, to be um, an adult, which is interesting. And she grew up well, so never knew that. She fell in love with Michael. So I don't know who this Michael guy is, but they were in love. Uh, her dad died. She got engaged to Michael, and she got married to Michael. Who's Michael? I'm confused. Was that just my own gameplay? Like, how did that even happen? I don't know who Michael is. That's really weird. But apparently she was married to somebody named Michael. Maybe he died. I don't know. Let's see what happened. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Something happened, so we'll find out. We hooped with him. Kissed Dawn. So she cheated on Michael with Dawn. And Michael died. Okay, so I think that's what happened. So what actually happened was, now I kind of remember what happened. So I don't think she was with Mortimer. I think what happened was she was with this guy named Michael. I don't know if this was like before like the game starts or like what happened if I did this I don't know who Michael is so I don't know but she was married to somebody and he died um then she inherited money from him so that was a positive memory which is kind of sad but whatever she like who has a positive memory from someone dying this girl apparently um repo man came she kissed Mortimer we out with Mortimer so she was kind of into Mortimer um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she was still, like, having the thing with Dawn going on. Mm -hmm. I want to know whose, like, kid this is. I think this is Mortimer's kid, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see? She tried twice to get engaged to him. Okay? So she tried. She was into him. She's not into Dawn. Nina got engaged. Nina had this great life. And she was super jealous because she was really trying to have a good life with, um, like, uh, Morty. And she did, she did kind of like him for, for him, you know? But he he wasn't into it. Um, then she had her daughter. Uh, so he got he rejected her again. So three times she tried and he rejected her. Then she got engaged to Dawn, and so she just settled for Dawn. Kind of it was a settle for him for her. Um, but yeah, I don't think she's gonna be with him for very long, to be honest. Um, because he's probably going to cheat and she's going to find out or find somebody much better. I am thinking of playing the round as being like, um, well, I just want to set them all up to be on the same day. So this is going to be the setup round and we're going to go until Wednesday, I think. So, um, I'm just going to write that down so I kind of remember that we're going to go until Wednesday. Um, And then if, like, if family's on Thursday, we're just going to play till Wednesday, and they're all going to be on Wednesday. Um, so, yeah. So she's turned on by fitness, great cook, and turned off by great hair. So I don't know why she liked Morty, but she did. So Wednesday, let's do Wednesday at 6 p.m. 
Wednesday at 10 p.m. Just because, like, there's camps and they all age up. And that's when the round will end. Um, okay, so that is her. Then we have Dawn. Dawn's a romance sim. Um, he's a lot younger than her, but I don't think that should be the way. Um, okay, so he hates, like, a lot of people. Cassandra and Mary Sue. Um, he's in love with um, Keelan still. He has a bad relationship with Nina, so the only person he's into, aside from Dina currently, is Keelan. And he has a pretty good relationship with his, um, um, what would you say, stepdaughter, not stepdaughter, yeah, stepdaughter, um, so far. So I do believe they just got, like, married and stuff like that. Uh, okay, so he, his mom was Adriana, and his grandma was Isabella, Isabella Fiorello, and Primo Fiorello, and his dad was Nicole, Nicole, Nicolo, 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 yeah, well, and his uh, grandma, his paternal grandma was Mama, which seems funny, and his paternal grandpa was Carmelo, um, that's him, um, he was an intern in medicine career, so he's not doing too well either, he's into fitness, charismatic people, and not into mechanical people, where's his, like, Where's his bio? Where, where are the bios? I'm confused right now. Okay, here we go. I missed this completely. He's sloppy. He's outgoing, active. A bit serious and a bit grouchy. He's really fit. So many ladies have a little time. When Dawn isn't thinking about dating, he's sleeping. He's into fashion, weather animals. Okay, so his memories. Um... Party train stuff by his family and grew up well, grew up well. His mom and dad died when he was a when he just became an adult, I think. Um his Dina fell in love with Dina. So Dina was the first person he was in love with. Um got rejected for makeup by Bella. If you don't know about Bella, we'll talk about her when we get to the goth family. He was last seen with Bella. There's like a mystery because She's Mortimer's, like, wife, but she went missing one night. The last person she was seen with was Dawn. So that's kind of the drama. Kiss Kaylin, fell in love with Kaylin, all this stuff, um, like, sexual stuff. Got engaged to Cassandra, had an affair, caught Nina, caught Nina cheating on him, so, with the guy that she's with currently. Um, all this stuff. Caught cheating, the enemies. Um, yeah. Basic stuff, really. Um, okay, so now let's look at Emmeline. Emmeline is their daughter. She grows up in two days, so um, I think she will grow up in this part, actually. Um, so she's friends with her mom. Not that close, and she doesn't really know, like, her aunt at all, because I think, like, Dina and Nina, I don't know, are they good friends in this? No, they hate each other. I don't know why they hate each other, but they just hate each other. So she doesn't know her, her aunt at all, which is kind of sad. Um, so, yes. She is the daughter of Mortimer, although Mortimer does not acknowledge her existence, which is really sad. Like, as you can see, she doesn't even know him. Yeah, not great. Um, so her dad is Mortimer, and she still has, um, well, she has some half-siblings, around still like Cassandra and Alexander are her half siblings um yes so that is her oh she is also a Libra she's out very outgoing very playful um she's into travel school animal sci-fi yeah, she doesn't have that many, like, memories aside from her mom getting married. So that is her. This is a house they live in. They just moved in. They have a lot of money, but they haven't really furnished it that much. So I think I will try to furnish this a little bit more. Let's see when they go to work. So, Dawn, we're starting to six. He has Tuesdays off. Okay, so let's play. Let's press play. So, yeah, this is Emmeline's room. I honestly think we could do some bit more, like, furniture stuff, but whatever. So, Dina wants to earn some money. Mm -hmm. Kiss Dawn. So let's go over and kiss him. 
He also wants to flirt with him. I also, like, in my other gameplay, I have, like, um, what's it called? Casual woohoo on and stuff like that. I don't have that in this one. So, I really roll the one to woohoo. I just do try for baby just to make it more realistic. Okay. Um, she wants to get some stuff. Um, play with Emmeline. Play with her a little bit. Okay. Dawn is making a inappropriate joke to her, of course. What a Dawn thing to do. He wants to woohoo with Dina, so I'm just going to lock that in. Um, and I'm going to have him try for baby because... Oh, they're both sick with the toy, which sucks, but anyways. Um, yeah, so whenever one of them rolls a want to um, woohoo, I just have them uh, try for baby because... I think realistically, if they're young and married and they're not like opposed to kids, like they probably would not take too many precautions. So just a bit more realistic. Um, let's have Dawn initiate though, because she was the one who rolled the want. Um, I don't know how long, like if um, a two and a half day is good, like some of the other families um, to get to the Wednesday, I may have to do like two or three parts on them. So I'll, I'll just do th two or three parts on them in a row. That's just what's gonna happen. I have my sound off, so I don't know if anything happened from that. Um, okay, so Dina is sleeping. Dawn is going down to hang out with um, his stepdaughter, which is super nice. Oh, what was that? Also, I've never filmed, like, a Let's Play kind of thing, so I, I don't know about, like, the speed of, like, if I'm, like, should, like, have it at two speed or one speed or three speed or, like, you know talk through things more or not so like we'll, we'll just see how this goes and i'm sure we'll get better <laughs> so dawn's just eating some stuff um so yeah dina is sleeping i don't know why like why is she so tired um let's have her i just keep on two speed okay the visitors have come and let's have some food who are these people the oldies are here i don't really care about them they're not really related to us um none of them are like Oh my gosh, I hate Cassandra. None of them are like friendship sims or anything like that or have their want to be friendly with anybody. So I'm just going to like leave them be, to be honest. Uh, mm, okay. Oh no, what's wrong with Emlyn? Okay, she needs the um, hygiene and hunger. So let's have Dawn do it just to like build some, um, build some more stuff for her. Um hunger and energy and I'm also not going to have them teach like the kids how to walk or talk unless they will the want to because I think that's more realistic so let's have um Dawn get a bottle for Emlyn um do you all think that like I should have um Mortimer come over and meet his daughter I don't know would she do that or would she not do that I'm not really sure to be honest like one thing we should do also is try to find her a better job because I don't really think that she would be in this career path especially now that she's like with Dawn she doesn't really have to have this career because like they have a lot of money somehow I don't really know how they have like $42,000 but she has like absolutely zero interest in work I don't think she'd be a playground monitor I just don't get that vibe from her so let's have her um just like we're gonna buy a computer and she's gonna look for a job Okay. Um, so yeah, like honestly, like some families may be like really um far away from okay, hold on. <laughs> music career. Mm, I don't know. I like to see them all first before I like decide. No, definitely not that for her. Um, did she do the music? No, I don't think she, I think she's gonna quit her job because I don't think she wants to be like in this job honestly and like I don't know why I gave it to her. Um, she needs a cell phone. It's probably gonna be super long and might be too long to have like um this much like I don't know. So um, if other families like I said have to have like almost a week to get back to Wednesday, then I will definitely make it like multiple parts because yeah, like, people be eating up and stuff like that. Um, so call work. I also think they would have like a nanny and stuff like that. Um, but I think she's gonna do that too. Uh, call service. 
uh, nanny. I think she's gonna try to live like as high in their means as like they can. Like she might spend all their money because she wants to live that high life. She's gonna call a maid. Dawn keeps making dirty jokes to her. It's extremely irritating. <laughs> I get the impression that she kind of thinks he's like not that high class, but I don't know. Like she's just with him. I guess she wants to be with somebody. Okay, she's losing bladder super quickly, so she may be pregnant. Um, take a shower. So she's been her days like just like hanging around. She wants to live in the lap of luxury, and this is not it, honestly. Like I think she might when Dawn is at work tomorrow. Um, find a matchmaker or call the matchmaker, and um, she might um, what's it called? She might go on a date, see if she can find someone richer, use all his money, um, to make her. Um, okay, so, yeah, she's losing her, like, needs are going down super, super quickly, honestly. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's make some. I don't know why the nanny's here right now. We need to track our schedule. Um... Okay, yeah, I, I have a feeling that she's not going to have a good pregnancy. First of all, she can't stop um, dealing with Dawn's dirty jokes, and she is trying to not die of starvation, so, yeah. <laughs> so, Emily grows up tomorrow at 6, I think. Yeah, I don't know what thing's going on. There was recording there. Um, but, yeah, we are playing until um, Wednesday, as I said before. Don't get off the toilet, please, please, please. You can go sleep. She's going to use the bathroom. Yeah, she is not a happy pregnant lady. I don't mean happy, but she is not, she's not having it very easy. I think she's pregnant and, like, her, her needs are just not doing good right now. Um, and there's no other explanation for it. So she's going to try to put Emlyn in her crib and just get to bed, honestly. So, um, when does this don't work? Nine, six. Okay, so yeah, when he's gone at work, um, this nanny's here all day, and she's going to be super expensive. Oh my gosh, put Emily in the crib. Hurry up. Come on. Ugh. Okay, let's just, or maybe it's because like, they, they're sick or something. She needs to sleep, and she needs to stop having to listen to Dawn being creepy. Like, he's too much. Like, she's not doing well. Her comfort, she's very uncomfortable. I think maybe because she's sick as well. Um, but... Yeah, okay. Don can't go back to bed because he is not tired enough, so he's going to be tired tomorrow at work. But as I was going to say, um, I don't really calculate their ages or anything like that. Okay, he's putting her in bed. Good, good. Um, I know some people like do that, but it's kind of like I don't have an, like an aging system on, so I don't really do that. So sorry about that. If you're interested in me doing that, um, please let me know, and I can try to figure that out um, for the next episode. Um, yeah. I think this morning, or today, she's going to go on a date. But yeah, I definitely do not think she's happy with Dawn and their current situation. Like, this house is not good enough for her. Okay, Dawn has to go to work. Oh, no. His day off today. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Okay, so tomorrow she'll cheat on him. <laughs> or she'll find a guy who she likes. Like, honestly, Dawn is cheating on her, so it's a temporary thing. I think they both know that. I just hope that um, um, Emily doesn't get too attached to her. That's the only th him. That's the only thing because um, I don't know if he's gonna be around for that long. You know what I mean? So, um, but like maybe he'll he'll still be there for her even. Um, yeah, look at her needs and she's healthy again. So I think maybe he'll be there for her even if him and Dina break up. I would hope so. Um, oh, her needs are just really, really, really bad, and I can't even deal with this. Like, The Sims 2 is so hard. Like, it's just hard to keep everyone alive and, like, everything like that. Um, unlike The Sims 4, which I feel like is honestly too easy, like, I just get super bored with that game super quickly because, um, you know, it's not hard. Like, no one's going to die. Like, nothing bad's going to happen to your Sims. I don't know if I like that, to be honest. So, she's going to do all of her needs right now, and then she's going to get some fun in because she's extremely depressed of no fun okay yeah she's definitely pregnant she just threw up there's a maid for that so don't worry about that 
to watch her TV. Dawn is taking pretty good care of Emmeline. Like, it's just so, so hard to even take care of, like, one child in this game. Like, I think, um, Dawn is gonna make her... Yep, okay. So she's pregnant. Fina is pregnant with Dawn's baby. So hopefully he'll be a more present father than, um, Morty was. Um... I, want, I hope she, she has a girl, honestly. I just prefer girl babies in The Sims. I don't know. I just do. I mean, I don't know. I like, I like playing with girls in The Sims. Um, okay, so she has and just a hygiene energy. So he'll, after that, he is going to change Emily's diaper. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he just, wa he just washed her. Okay, so he's fine. Um, take a shower. Do all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll have him... Um, how do you even make a cake in this? Oh, you have to, we have to buy one. Okay. So, I don't even think we're going to have a birthday party, honestly. Like, none of them have the want to have a party or anything like that. And she has no fun. Does she not like TV? Like, what is going on with her? She's, like, very depressed. I think she may be worried that um, it's going to be another situation like Morty, where she's alone in her pregnancy. And now that she's found out she's pregnant, she's just... Really, really worried about what's going to happen with her and Dawn. Okay, everything's clean. Great, thank you. Okay, so she is good with that. And she's honestly having a very hard pregnancy. Uh, so I think Dawn is going to make her some food. Um, yeah, so far this, game, this episode has just been mainly taking care of their needs. So I do apologize for that. Um, yeah. Okay, she's going to have something to eat. Emily's going to grow up soon. Super excited about that. Um, okay, let's have some more sandwiches. Have another plate. Okay, eat, 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 eat. And then you can have a shower. And then you can go to sleep. I'm sorry. Okay, she's going to age up, so you must age her up. Come on. <laughs> hope this doesn't like glitch please do not glitch please do not glitch okay grow up come on I had a like a um, save file where I had two twin babies and neither of them grew up okay so Emmalyn is here yay okay super excited she's grown as a child she was a little wonder so she had not a bad um childhood okay so let's just change her room up a little bit um I think off camera I'll do like a bit of a renovation of their house to make it a bit nicer than it is. I just don't want to do that right now because um, I want to try to get through like until Wednesday so we can start like actually having um, like, you know, everyone be on the same schedule and stuff like that. So I'm just giving her like a basic room right now. It's honestly nothing special. Maybe I'll give her some toys. She wants to buy a toy. So, um... I'll give her a dollhouse. Okay. I have the feeling that, yeah, Dina would pretty probably spoil her a little bit. So, um, she's going to go downstairs and use the bathroom. And I think Dina is honestly worried about her, her daughter, like, getting, um, a good impression from her. Because now that Emlyn is, like, an adult, she can kind of see what's going on. She's kind of like, wait a minute, is dad, like, really my dad? Um, I can see her being confused about that. Um, so I think that might be a little bit hard for her. And I think Dina is probably aware that, that that's going to be hard for her. So she's going to want to make sure she has the best life possible. And I don't know what she's going to do about Morty. I don't know if she's ever going to introduce her to Morty or talk to her about Morty or what. Because Morty is quite old. But I mean, since she's already a child, she's probably going to, she probably should meet him. Like, I actually don't know how that conversation is going to go because um, Morty has his own son, his own family, and Dean doesn't really know what to say of, like, listen, your father didn't want to marry me. Like, that's kind of embarrassing for her. She's, I think that's part of why her and Nina actually stopped being friends and started hating each other was because she was kind of embarrassed. Now she's very resentful and jealous of Nina because Nina ended up with this really rich old man, and that was kind of Dina's thing. Like, Dina wanted to um, end up with a rich, like, more... Um, respectable guy who is like like Morty's like really um 
well, he's really scientific and he's really smart and he's a respectable man in the community. So I think, um, yeah, she wanted she wanted that for her. So she was very jealous when Nina got that when that wasn't even what Nina wanted. So she's taking care of Dina's needs right now because she is almost dying like usual. Dawn is going to have some breakfast, a cereal before work. I'm going to stick with the flu. Okay, she probably got the flu from her family. Okay, how is her needs before she goes to school? So I think today is when, um, when Dina might, like, get a date and just see how it goes. But she is starting to lean more towards Dawn. Like, um, he hasn't actually gone and he wants to cheat. So that's really interesting. So it's seeming pretty good. Uh, I'm also probably going to change Emlyn's hair and stuff, like, um, off camera and everything. Okay, so, bye. Have a good day at school and work. I'm just gonna stay home. Okay, so, now, it, is that work or, like, what the heck? Okay, yeah, because he has no, like, work button. Okay, so she's gonna call a service. Uh, she's gonna call a matchmaker, and she's gonna use, like, full, um, full services. Um, so she wants to get Emlyn into private school right now, Dawn. Yeah, he just wants to be friends with Emlyn. That's really cute. So I think he, I don't know, he really is taken to Emlyn quite a bit, a lot, quite a lot. I don't know why. Also, her trash is, like, kicked over, which is not a good sign. So let's greet the matchmaker. When does he work until? He works until 6, so we have some time. Okay. So, come on, let's get a date. Um, ask for a blind date. Okay, I hope the maid does not say anything. Um, okay, let's get the highest date and see if we get somebody who might be interesting. Okay, so, who is this guy? Leo. Okay, let's see. Hopefully he's, like, rich. Um, so, he is a family sim. Okay, so, that's interesting that they thought a family sim would be the best match. So, she wants to tell him a joke, but their relationship is not off to a good start. Um... Come on, stop. She's crying. She's really sad. Like, she's had a hard time in her love life, honestly. Um, she wants to go to a community law, but I'm not going to do that just for the sake of trying to, like, move time along a little bit here. But, like, I don't know. She's crying. Like, is she, like, really liking this guy? Like, I don't think she's liking him. That seems kind of a little bit aggressive, but I don't know. Maybe she's into it. Okay, let's stop putting a balloon fight, honestly. Like, he wants to fall in love with her. That's a little bit, like, a lot for... Like, they just haven't even talked yet. Um, let's flirt. Charm. Hug. Let's do another hug. Flirt. Charm. Come on. Okay, so their relationship is good. Let's ask him. Um, what's your job? Like, we're trying to figure out if he's rich here. Okay. So, we don't find out what his job is, but... Anyways, okay, she is, like, not doing well. Her environment is terrible, so let's have her eat something, too. Um, so she's, like, super pregnant, and she's, as I said before, having a really hard pregnancy, so I'm sorry that I have to, um, like, make food, because I'm really pregnant right now in the middle of our date with my actual husband. <laughs> I'm just the gold digger who's trying to find someone better, maybe, like, and now you eat my sandwich? Like, what the heck? Wow. Who eats a pregnant lady's sandwich? Like, I don't want... Let's just hope he does not die in the next, like, eight hours of this um, episode. Um, that's all I'm hoping for because she's, yeah, not doing too well. And then we need to use the bathroom when he's in the bathroom. This guy is annoying me, okay? And, like, they're not really gonna, I don't think, have much more to say. I think she's gonna say goodbye because her daughter's coming home from school. So she's gonna have to say goodbye. Um, and also she just needs to nap. Like, she's super tired, so... Let's say goodbye. Bye. Okay. I don't think that was a very good date. Oh, he liked it. He had a good time. Okay. So, she also has a lot of, like, wants to get, like, new stuff. So, um, we'll probably do that. I'll probably do that off camera. And I hope Dawn's not available to talk. Because this is why for right now. Okay. So, Emlyn wants to ask for homework help. So, I think that is she wants to do homework. But Nina is sleeping right now and Dawn is not here. So, she's going to do it by herself. But she's, she's really... Not doing well. She needs some more fun. I don't know why her fun went down that badly all of a sudden. That was a little bit weird. I think she's like, I don't know. Everyone in this family is not doing good. Like, why is she so depressed? Um, She was not that depressed when she came home from school. 
Um, I think maybe she's not sure how she's feeling about having another kid in the family. I think she knows that Don is not her biological dad. So she's kind of feeling like there's going to be another kid in the family. And is Don going to like that kid more than her? Because it's going to be her his biological kid. Um, oh my gosh, what is going on? Can we watch like a show? Can we not? Can we not be depressed? Like, let's go and play with our dolls. Maybe that will help. Um, Fina is still sleeping, and Don wants to move with her, but she's like barely alive right now. So we're not gonna do that. Um, sorry, Don. Uh, let's have a oops. Let's have a shower. But I just like that he doesn't have any wants to cheat. So that is honestly a good sign. Like maybe this is gonna work out for them. Maybe they're actually gonna fall in love. Um, he, I think Fina was his first love. They had a pretty high relationship. So yeah. Okay. Um, he's crying too. So I know everyone's like so sad. Like maybe he's stressed out about having his own child. And this is where we're gonna end the part. Sorry, it's ten thirteen, but <laughs> close enough. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. And the next episode, we're gonna look at the next family, which will probably be the Goth family, which is just Mortimer and um, oh, what's his name, Alexander, right now. So it's gonna be the next family. And how many parts I will do with that family depends on how far away they are from Wednesday. If it's Tuesday, it'll be like just quickly. Wednesday morning quickly if it's Thursday we're playing a week so it's gonna have to be a couple episodes that's how I'm gonna do it and please let me know if you enjoyed this series I really enjoyed filming it um it's my first time doing a let's play kind of rotational thing so if you have any tips please leave them in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you all next time bye everyone